I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. Week two back in Berlin has been a very interesting week. Tuesday was pretty random. My original plan was to clean Alex and mine's room, just kind of chill at the house all day, and unexpectedly, I get a call from my friend Carl, who was Alyssa and Carly's PPP tutor last year from Rostock, and he's like, hey Sam, I saw on Facebook that you're in Berlin, and I'm in Berlin for a few hours, so do you want to like, chill? That sounded much better than cleaning a room, so I took it up in a second. Carl came to pick me up in his car, and we went to Potsdamer Platz, because he wanted to go see the nice buildings and stuff like that. And after thinking it over a bit, you know, we passed Pizza Hut, we passed McDonald's, we passed like some other little bistros. We decided Tony Roma's was the way to go. I mean, American, pure American food, yeah. Carl lived in America for a year, so I guess that's why he had a little inkling for it. Had a nice chat, I had a beer, Carl had a burger and like a non-alcoholic beer because you know, he was driving, very responsible Carl, very responsible, appreciate that. Afterwards, he just dropped me off at home and then I cleaned. Took me about four hours to do a nice deep cleaning of this room, but it looks awesome now. Wednesday, I was reunited with Jacques and Fabi, and I got to meet Jacques' girlfriend, Anna, who is really nice, by the way, very sweet girl. And so I was talking to them like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to a bar and get a drink? Do you want to just kind of like chill, get a snack or something? Jacques was like, hey, why don't we go to Tony Roma's? Yes, I ended up at Tony Roma's two days in a row. I can't say that it was like, a bad thing. We had a few laughs, we caught up on the last five months. I know you're wondering, Sam, what is that thing on your face? Referring to this thing, wait, wait, that thing. Boom, right there. In the wee hours of the morning in Berlin, I was walking down an alleyway and all of a sudden, out of nowhere comes Voldemort. And he decides that he wants to scar me for life and I'm Harriet Potter. That's what happened here. But really, I woke up in the middle of the night to go pee and on my way back down the hallway, I hit a wall. More precisely, I hit a door frame. And the door frames in these Altbau, you know, like old built buildings are really hard and pointy, man. Basically, as I was walking down the hallway, I looked out the window of the kitchen because I saw a light. And by the time I turned my head back, boom, door frame to the face. So I went back to the bathroom, knocked on the door, and Alex was like, what do you want now? And I was like, uh, uh, as blood is rushing down my face. Then I get a little bit dizzy. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a scar on my face. Damn it, my mom's gonna kill me. I have a scar on my face. Meanwhile, Alex is like, can you please sit down? You're feeling dizzy. But the last thing I remember was him asking me to sit down. And the next thing I remember is me lying on the ground in the hallway with Alex screaming over my face, Sam, Sam, Sam. Needless to say, he woke up Felix and George who proceeded to call the ambulance. I asked Alex like, yeah, what happened? You know, like I remember hitting my head, but I don't remember, like I said, the in-between. So basically he said he had to catch me from falling before I sat down. And then like my eyes rolled back and like I was like, I'm gonna swallow my tongue trying to say something. So he was really scared and obviously worried because I had just passed out the uh, EMT guys. came. they're really cool dudes, funny. I was of course already lying in the bed and making jokes. Alex didn't think it was funny, but I had to lighten up the situation somehow. I wasn't just gonna be like, oh my God, I hit my head. But I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a scar on my face. So I didn't let the guys stitch me up. What did they think? I was gonna, no anesthesia, no nothing, just lie in the bed and have you sew my face? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I asked for some butterfly stitches which don't exist in Germany. So I got like these two kind of gangster band-aids, like pfft, Nelly style. So um, yeah, for three days I was chilling around, max and relax and all cool with these band-aids on my face, including my birthday. But you know, I wasn't shy about it. Battle scar, baby. Needless to say, I did nothing that day besides watch movies. Thankfully, Alex was there to take care of me because I was really dizzy and like the Friday was kind of the same situation. I spent most of the day recovering from the injury. Then at night, we went to Davi's house and we saw Where the Millers. I saw it in German. I had already seen it in English, so it wasn't too hard to get what was going on. At midnight, they paused the movie and Davi, Schule, and Meli and Alex all gave me my birthday wishes. It was really nice. Meli played a happy birthday song to which I danced about all four minutes too because I mean, there was music, so I'm gonna dance. That was a nice way to kick off my birthday. We get into the car and Alex, before he turns it on, is like, okay, I couldn't wait, so I have your presents here. Oh, 
So cute. He pulls out a picture and on the back it has this lovely poem on it that he wrote, which is really sweet. And a picture of us from New Year's. I'm pretty sure I'm drunk in that picture, but we look good. We look good. Don't worry about it. Then he gives me a lemon. This lemon. Saying 952 kilometers. He says it doesn't seem like much of a present, but we are going on a trip. <gasps> awesome! Best birthday gift ever? Yeah, for sure. Like, duh. Hands down. Awesome. Only problem is I have no idea where we're going. This is some kind of a riddle. So if any of you can help me out with this, I'd really appreciate it. It's 952 kilometers from Berlin. So think about it, write it in the comments. I don't know if you can help me out. Bored at work, bored at school, <laughs> help me out. Saturday was my day because <clears throat> it was my birthday. I wanted to go to places in my book that my host parents gave me. So we went to two of those places. The first one was Schloss Biestorf, which is a castle in an area of Berlin called Biestorf and they are now renovating it. Other than the construction and all that, it's a very nice castle. It's like settled in the middle of a neighborhood, really pretty. The gardens are like open and anyone can just walk and run there. The day was beautiful for it. Sunny and like warm. It was about 50 something degrees. It's like the sun came to say happy birthday to Sam because you know, I miss him when I'm here. We had a nice walk and then we went to this place called Frieden's Park, which is known for like this giant peace sign built into the hill. And in the spring, they kind of decorate it with different flowers every week. And from this Frieden's Park, you can also see the Alexanderplatz Tower, the TV tower. So it had a really great view and that's in Marzahn, which is a different neighborhood in Berlin. A few hours later, we went to Alex's parents' house, who so kindly gave me a bottle of Zet for my birthday and a pink DVD, which is her Truth About Love tour that I went to in Berlin and that tour is freaking awesome. So I was very excited about that DVD. Then they proceeded to even more nicely take me to dinner. It was a beautiful dinner. We were at a very nice restaurant called San Zussi, which means no worries in French, by the way. This restaurant is in a hotel and we had a five course meal. It was like so nice and a very good bottle of wine called Ravenswood from California. Uh, we had two. <laughs> it was all very, very delicious. And I thank them so much for like that really nice birthday dinner. I had a very good time. I enjoyed it. We got to talk, laugh. So that was awesome. Afterwards, Alex and I went to Tom's house, a friend of ours. We played games. Werewolf was one of the games and we played Taboo. Taboo in German. Wow, I wasn't very good, but I was proud of myself. I got like two words. I also got a very nice gift from my friends. It was a gift card to Media Markt and my favorite chocolate. Thanks guys, it was very nice of you. Sunday, went to lunch at Alex's parents' house, the usual Mittagessen. We had bouletten, super yummy. Alex and I passed out on their couch for about two hours, then came home, watched a movie, and I was quietly watching Friends at home while Alex had a little reunion with the boys at the bar downstairs, only to come back to me because these random guys walked into the bar and started punching them in the face, saying that they were hitting on his sister. Mind you, there were the only four people at the bar. So when they were hitting on his sister, who knows, kind of weird. The police had to be called and drama, drama, drama. <laughs> but hey, that's Berlin for you. Living on the edge as usual. That's about it for this week. So I want you all to enjoy the week in review. I made food, Alex made instant rice and apparently hot. <laughs> This is my first picadillo, a Cuban dish. It came out yummy. Why does the rug look like shit again? I don't get it. Look, what is this? It's, babe, we had people in here the day after you cleaned it, like for bowling, people were in here. It was just yesterday when I cleaned it. No, it was yes, Saturday. It was yesterday. That discussion carried on for a few more minutes until we realized I had the right. This is Alex. He's studying for his test. Alex here. <laughs> test papers there. I just can't. Like, I mag sie nicht. Sie mögen mich nicht. Me? Nein. The <laughs> papers. Learning German with Sam. <laughs> Look, it's Carl, and it's sunny outside, not too bad. How much did you sleep last night, Carl? Two and a half hours. And? But I'm fresh, as fresh can be. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> a driving view of Potsdamer Platz. Oh my god. Video or photo? Willkommen zurück. Was thanks to you. And Anna, yeah. new character here no. <laughs> in the show. So. 
Look at these nice shirts. Oh, yes. Let's see them. Very nice. <laughs> imports, all imports. <laughs> fake, fake <laughs> ones. <laughs> Hey ladies, I'm don't get me custom. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it's true, ladies. Fabi is signal. You can reach him at the plus four nine international code. But it's produced in Düsseldorf. This is American style steak sauce made in Germany. What? Jacques, are you full yet? Alles okay, give me some. Alles <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. This guy's the same server I had the day before. Wow. Now you get a real live action shot of what was going on with the EMT guys as I was laying in my bed there, all messed up. Will it be a scar? I don't know. Hope not ruin my movie star chances. This, of course, is a nice German style dinner Alex had brought for me since my head was all cracked. And it was yummy, of course. This is my broken face. I'm now explaining to you how I hit my head on the door, and that was the window I looked out of. Ugh. If anybody asks you, it's because I beat someone up, all right? I got slugged by a man five times my size. Right, Ben? Big German guy, huh? Big German guy. Beard? Beard. Red hair? In fact, yes. He hit me with a Maz. <laughs> because you stole his beard. Because I stole his beard. But oh. I ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> Why did someone have to call the ambulance? Why was that? Because I passed out. I fainted. Ooh. I fainted. <laughs> Luckily, there wasn't a concussion, or not one that we know of. So. I'm pretty sure there was one before already. <laughs> well, maybe this one knocked some sense into me. What do you think? Too late for that. <laughs> so, we've been watching movies all day. Just going out to enjoy my sunny birthday. You can see the sun over there. Sing for me. No. Come on, you were just singing. I wasn't. She's lying. No, I'm not lying. No one lies on their birthday. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is the lovely walk up to Schloss Biesdorf, and what you're looking at right there is the actual castle and a nice gazebo. Lese und Babe, you have to stay out. Says soccer players and dogs. So you're both. I'm not a soccer <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not a soccer player. <laughs> and once again, getting closer to the castle. Ah! That's so funny. <laughs> Go again? Come on. Okay, so as a cautious trespasser, what I did was to make sure there was no electric fence! Where would the electricity come from though? That's what you never know, okay? That's the secret part. So you gotta always check real quick. That's the Schloss. Is it in focus, babe? Are you focused? On you always. <laughs> Why am I being so silly? Here's another view of the castle and Yet another view of the castle. Trink fest und arbeitsscheu. Trink fest und arbeitsscheu. Yeah. Sind wir united? Sind treu. wir united? Oi. Treu. Treu. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Germany, and now I remember those walking sticks. Ridiculous. Anyway, here's the castle again, and the very nice part of the garden, forest thing. We are now at Frieden's Park, and we're walking up the stairs to get that really nice view, which you can see here. And this is the peace sign that it's famous for in the spring where they have flowers and stuff. Show, show me how to eat a fairy fox. Würstchen. It looks, it looks pretty disgusting and weird. <laughs> as gross as that looked, the fairy fox was really great tasting. Now we're at the restaurant, San Susi, for my birthday. Hi, hello, this is a video. <laughs> Hi. Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> you just met Alex's family, and this is the second course. This is the third course. The fourth course, and next comes the dessert. I missed the first one, <laughs> and I lost it. Oh, that is the dessert. Ooh, ooh. Jenny, Jenny, zeig mal für die Kamera, was für ein Problem jetzt gerade ist. <laughs> er kann nicht traurig gucken, er sieht immer aus wie nach <laughs> The poor little taboo toy was missing an arm. 
Do you see how intently we're playing this game here? It got serious. Scheiß Ding, ey. 